This video is sponsored by the brand new JV Jiu Jitsu online store at jvjujitsu.bigcartel.com. What's going on everybody? This is Javi Vasquez. Control-based leg lock attacks could be frustrating and difficult to escape. One of the most basic ways to escape an opponent's leg lock control is to unlace their legs. I would say that there are three basic ways to escape an opponent's leg lock control. Unlacing, turning, and pulling your leg out. Similar to unwrapping a present, unlacing your opponent's legs is quite simple once you understand the lacing process. Clearing an opponent's top leg, controlling it, hopping your hip over it, and coming through the middle is one of the most basic ways of unlacing an opponent's legs. In this video, I will discuss some of the subtleties of unlacing your opponent's legs and coming up through the middle, establishing top control. As always, I hope you enjoy this content and thank you for watching. So he, this time we're gonna work on the defensive side of it. And Obviously, we'll just use just basic ideas. If I can come up on top of him and get my leg back, do that, right? If you can come up on top, do that. What we're dealing with here is when you can't. He's keeping you down, he's got good control. Now we're looking to see what we can do. The first one we're gonna work on, and this is General idea, but we're going to start with the feet on the outside. I think once you guys understand what's going on with the feet on the outside, everything else will make sense. I want to untangle the problem. So right now, he's got one leg protecting the other. What's in my way is this leg that's across my hip. So what I need to do is I need to simply untangle the legs, lay it back, and transfer his leg to the other side. Now, at this point, the next step, I need to bring my knee to the inside. Start to come up, hug the neck, drive my knee to the ground, and come up on top. Now, it's just that easy, right? It's just that easy? No, it's, it's not that, that easy. easy. Huh? It's never that easy. It's never that easy. So there are inherent problems, okay? So first of all, the, my first problem is I gotta see which foot is on top. If the leg that I want to pass across is on top, does that make my problem easier or harder? Easier. easier. So what am I going to do? If I try to grab his foot, it's going to be tough. He's strong. His legs are stronger than my hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop it and go forward. Now I can transfer the leg. See the way I did that? So the easy leg is on top. I'm going to come underneath the knee. Now, generally, I might go underneath the knee to start. But once I get it out, I start to open my elbow and slide it towards his heel. Okay? So from here, I'm going to scoop on the inside, and I'm going to open up the heel. Look how I walk my fingers. Now, he could try to bring that back, but my arm and, whole, and body's in the way. Now I can start to pass his foot. As I pass his foot, my knee starts to come to the inside. Now, at this point, finish. It's hard. Go, die. It's hard because my hip can now start to climb up and over that leg. Come up, to, no, hold, tight, 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 tight. come up to the elbow, drive the knee to the ground, and then my knee just slides up and over. Okay. So we're untangling here. At this particular point, the easy, no, go ahead, the easy leg is on top. Scoop it. Look how I'm going to control his bottom leg and extend towards the foot. And transfer. As I do that, watch what I'm doing. Even if this leg, if this leg starts to straighten away, which it won't, come back. It's going to stay fairly tight. Watch what I'm going to do. What did I do? 
I, I use my, my butt to go over, now bring your foot back. Tough. Extend, pass, knee comes on the inside. Now once the knee's on the inside, he's gonna try to move, he's gonna try to go, go, go. What did I do for me? Boom, boom, boom. He could try to do that. Come on. This leg is relatively safe. Now, red light, green light. So if he's trying to move his foot, I'm just gonna control it. The second I feel him relax, my hand's gonna go from his ankle to his neck, game over. Hips. So if the easy foot is on top, we're going to scoop it. Notice how if his feet are, if there's contact between his two feet, it's hard to move them tight, 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 tight. Hard to move them. You feel how the, the, the lacing, it's like a zip, like a, a twisty tie, right? You just can't pull them apart. You can't go. Just can't pull it apart. So what I do is I extend him away further. Tight, 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 tight. It's so hard. Extend, boom, clear. I, I, I passed the foot and hopped it over at the same time. Two. Now, now, now this is the problem. Now the problem is that I can't do that because this leg here is protecting this leg here. Can everyone see that? So this bottom leg now is on top of the leg I want to pass. If I can get to it and pass it, what do you do? Get to it and pass it. But in this particular case, it's not happening. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit his heel away. Now when I hit his heel away, when you unlace his, when you separate his legs, what are his legs going to want to do? So watch what I do. Boom. Go ahead, bring it back. Now he could try to bring this one. If he pulls this leg to try and go over my arm, my arm is already on the inside. So I'm trying to get to the exact same spot. Okay. So I'm going to separate the foot. I could even hold it because I don't want it to come back over. Boom. Boom. And where am I pushing? Am I pushing here? I am pushing as low as it'll go. And I'm also extending him away. Bring that leg back in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He could try to go over, go over. It's such an awkward angle. Now I can start to transfer and look. He can try and hold me down here, but if I attack his toes, it makes it way easier for me to get to the inside. Once I'm on the inside, it's over. Once we're here, this is a red light, green light scenario. The second I feel like I can transfer, because he's gonna try to be trying to transfer. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna control. There's nothing there, I'm cool. The second he relaxes, I get to his neck. If I can keep my hand on his foot, change the grip here. Come up. If this foot starts becoming a problem and starts coming in, what do I do then? Pop it. And then come up and move. Okay? So low hanging fruit, low hanging fruit. Low hanging fruit means that the leg that's I want to pass is on top. Extend, pass, hop, transfer, come up. Right? A more difficult proposition is when the leg is protected, extension. Look how I have to lay back. I'm bracing, hips, now knee comes to the inside. Once my knee's on the inside, I can get to the neck. One more time. Low hanging fruit, scoop it, walk it. Look how my body goes up and over his bottom foot. Transfer and knee comes on the inside. Come up. I can put this hand on the ground because I'm using my leg or my hip to hold his leg down. If I don't have control of this leg with my hip, what do I, what do I control it with? My hand. So now I'm pushing down on top of his foot. Everyone, everyone cool with this? So this is unlacing the, the, the process and this is from the X. This is from when the foot is on the outside. Okay. So if it's low hanging fruit, we extend it and transfer it, right? If it's standard, I start to push the heel. Now remember, if I try to push the heel and he's bending, it's going to be hard. So you have to kind of shift the angle to get it to extend. If you can get the leg to extend, he becomes much weaker. Do you understand the difference? Play with this. Have him kind of lock this down, and I'm going to try. Go, oh, no, don't let me. It's, it's just, he's much stronger. But if I can get behind it, oh, 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 you feel that?
feel it, you're way stronger. So you need to understand the leverage involved and how to actually separate it. You can't do this. You have to get behind it so you can push it. So I'm not behind it here, but if I can get it away, boom. So getting it away from the body, now we can start to work. Questions? Un unlacing or untangling the legs based on the X. Swim your knees to the inside, come up to your hand, get to his neck, come back up on top of the mouth. Make sure you get this leg on the inside because if you don't get this leg on the inside here, it's hard for me to control the foot from here. I need assistance. Yes, sir? Ideally, what is he doing before you attack the leg there? Like, what kind of leverage is he using on the foot? Well, the first thing he's got to do is he's got to hold me in place. He can try He can try to scoop me and stuff, but so long as I can keep my heel turned in, he can't scoop me. His options from here, because, because my foot is not wrapped. If my foot is wrapped, wrap it. No, 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 that's scooping. Wrap it. Lower, lower, lower. Get on the foot. Yeah. If it's wrapped tight, I'm going to have to get to his arm. And I'm going to have to kick my leg to get comfortable. Once I'm comfortable, I bend my foot, and then I can start working my way out. If he's on his elbow, get off, get, get off here. If he's like this, I'm more concerned with the scoop, which is him scooping my heel. So if my heel going out is bad, what's good? Scoop my heel. Can't achieve it. So yes, I am paying attention to what's going on here. But um, at this point, there's no real danger. When we start getting into danger is when we start working turns, right? So. We're going to get there. Go. Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please click like and subscribe to my channel for more great strike-based jiu-jitsu content. If you have any questions about the techniques that I'm demonstrating, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much.